What's going on guys, it's Cactus Quaid, welcome back to War Thunder. We are going to take a look at the one and only reward for the Summer uh, Quest 2022. Those guys got clapped, oh my god. But yes, for Summer Quest 2022, Naval has one reward, Aviations have one reward, Tanks have two rewards. I'll drop a B-roll or some in here on how to figure out where to find that. Come to your lobby, click your name up here. Head over to Achievements, click your Achievements. It's right here, Summer Quest. Whenever there's a special event, will pop up on this page. You just click Summer Quest. Summer Quest gives you an overview of all the things you can get. As you can see, tanks have two tanks, airplanes have one airplane, and the naval guys, we have one ship. So you can either open it up like that to check out your marks of distinctions right here, or click your tasks right here to check your progress on all of them. I got a little impatient. And I got the last two distinctions. So you can either purchase your way up there with 1,000 golden eagles apiece, which comes out to, I think, around $30 if you bought your way all the way up to the eighth distinction. So yeah, that is an option for you guys that are racing for the end. You can shovel out money because I gotta tell you, this is tough. But yeah, no, so this ship is, it's a battleship. It's uh, it's all right, but as you can see, it's uh, it's chaotic for sure. You still gotta measure out the range, and I know I did a video on me kind of hating on naval. My opinions did change. Um, I'll upload another update video here in a little bit with me uh, with the uh, American heavy cruisers. American heavy cruisers are ridiculously strong right now. I mean, really strong. But, yeah, this is my first battleship. It's... Like I said, it's good. Um... You only die, really, from getting your magazine detonated. Or that guy just got popped. How much Harunas are in this game? Ah, okay, not too much. Now, we can, like, sail this away. Yeah, this. Sorry if it's if it seems like the commentary is all over the place. This map is like really chaotic. I was hiding this guy's smoke. Put out the fire. Fire extinguishing is definitely a priority in this game. And also, a little side note, but if you guys have seen the um, the update for War Thunder, apparently. In the next update, they're going to be giving select aircraft fire extinguishers for their engines. I've been waiting for that for such a long time. So now if your B-17 catches on fire, you can put out the fire. Um, it's not available for all vehicles. They want to try to keep it as historically as, or as historical as they can. So the B-17 has them available. The B-24 Liberator, let's slow down a bit. The B-24, um, A-10, a lot of modern aircraft, I'll probably put up a picture like, whoop, if I didn't, I'm bad at editing, so, uh, but yeah, no, the, the Haruna, now that it's kind of calmed down a little bit, it's a nice little ship. Gameplay's a lot more different, um, it is a fast ship, but the armor is lacking. People say it's lacking in armor, but d don't get me wrong, man, it's still a battleship. She is armed with, I believe, 14-inch guns, I believe so. The guy that we're shooting at right now is a Helena. This thing is annoying beyond belief. Alright, let's back up a little bit, throw off their aim. A uh, little tip for you guys, or something I do personally, when you go to prioritize your damage control, so fires eat up your crew fast. So like, see I'm repairing now, but if a fire pops off, you just hold down the repair button, cancels the repair, they can do the fire extinguishing. We are at 90, okay we're starting to lose buoyancy, so hold on, let's cancel that. Can we plug that hole? 
No, okay, so they are fixing unplugging the hole right now. That buoyancy trouble can really creep up on you really fast, so you want to be careful with that. Alright, so we're dewatering this ship. We're trying to swing our aft guns around on this Helena. I know he's not my problem right now, but a kill is a kill. Uh, give it a little bit more range this time. Don't keep backing up, start keep being annoying to these guys. Man. Now, if you guys know what those like big red orbs are, and okay, ammo got detonated. Um, I'll show you how that detonated. Okay, so we're back. So like I said, the armor is is a hit or miss, so light cruisers, heavy cruisers, you can fight all day against them. You are good. But the problem is, it's its forward turret armor. And I guess rear turret armor. I don't know if this is a bug, but let me open up, let's say, New Orleans. Special common, something that shouldn't be able to penetrate all the way down. No, okay, so it doesn't have enough explosive mass to it. Um, so that plate of armor down there. It doesn't want to protect you against anything. I don't know, it might, might just be me actually working on a ship, but it's not a... <laughs> It's not a void from the top deck to the top of the shell room. You have compartments, you have material. So a shell going from way up here all the way down here, hitting a hundred millimeters of armor at an angle and still punching through, that's, that's just me being skeptical. But what I'm trying to get at is sometimes the shell won't even penetrate through that armored deck It'll just explode outside of it and send shrapnel inside. I mean, those are the only ways I've died in it is through ammo detonating or when I didn't have the repair kits, the um, the tool set and fire protection equipment. That's the only reason why I died is either from fires, flooding, and, you know, common boom boom like... Now, let's be honest, the Russian ship, this, oh my god, who, who was the one that killed me? I think it was this guy. Or, I'm a, I know some other nations have this design of ship, I'm gonna call it the Russian ship because of just how it's designed. This thing, if you ever, if you are gonna grind for a ship, I would probably say grind for this ship. It sits so low in the water. I mean, it's a tank. But anyways, yeah. That's my little look at the IJN Haruna, and I do have a series going on on the game Spray. I'm about to wrap that up, probably by next week, and then I might do a scary game. I don't know, I'm not good with scary games, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, see you next time, bye.